Sun Medica, orthopedic products that improve patient care. Firm support of the pelvis in a lateral position is a very important aspect of many hip surgeries. The pelvis needs to be held in a known position to allow appropriate placement of hip arthroplasty components. Support of the pelvis over bony prominences avoids injury to soft vital structures. The obese patient represents a special challenge for a positioning system. The hip grip system product by Sun Medica achieves all of these goals. The hip grip system is a patented product that supports not only the pelvis, it holds the chest by utilizing anterior and posterior chest supports. This keeps the spine from twisting the pelvis and it also allows tilting of the operating table without loss of position of the pelvis relative to the operating table. A durable case with foam cutouts organizes the many components of the hip grip. There are four upright supports three sizes of anterior pelvis supports, there are two small, two medium, and two large, three degree canted L bars to attach the hip grip to the operating table. The support surfaces are made of closed cell foam. They should be protected with disposable cotton lycra covers. The cotton lycra covers also conduct body moisture away from the contact areas. Make sure that the covers are placed over the foam surfaces of the hip grip prior to placement. Cover sets are available through Sun Medica. The general arrangement of the hip grip is well demonstrated without the patient on the operating room table. bony anatomy of the pelvis is demonstrated by the dots. Up side anterior superior iliac spine. Down side anterior superior iliac spine. Symphysis pubis. Symphysis pubis. Down side anterior superior iliac spine posterior pelvis, posterior superior iliac spines, flat part of the sacrum, posterior chest support, tip of the scapula, anterior chest support, Place below breast on the sternum. Abdomen remains unobstructed. With the patient in the lateral position, first apply the flat posterior pelvis support. The small upright 
and the small bar usually works well and is applied to the bony prominences of the triangle composed of the two posterior superior spines and the flat of the sacrum. Do not tighten the thumb nut at this point. Move the pelvis toward the support so that the patient is justified on the table posteriorly and is close to the surgeon who usually stands on the posterior side of the patient. The surgeon will bend over less if he is closer to the wound. This is a distinct advantage of the hip grip system compared to systems that place the patient over the middle of the table. Also, note that the hip grip system has a low profile and avoids placing bars or knobs in the surgeon's groin. Choose the anterior pelvis support that best centers the pads over the downside anterior superior spine and the symphysis pubis. Place the support onto the anterior pelvis upright with the guide pin up and in the slot to control the angle of the support and allow the proper excursion of the anterior pelvis support in the anterior pelvis upright. Place the thumb nut and lightly tighten to hold the anterior pelvis support to the anterior pelvis upright and lock the angle of the support to the upright. To attach the anterior pelvis support to the OR table, use the medium bar for large patients and use the large bar for small patients. Slide the anterior pelvis support towards the pelvis centering the pads over the symphysis pubis and the downside anterior superior iliac spine. The coronal plane of the pelvis should be vertical or 90 degrees to the horizontal of the operating room table. Tighten the thumb screw with modest force. Do not over tighten. In obese patients, have the assistant pull the paniculus up and out of the way of the downside anterior superior spine of the pelvis and the symphysis pubis. This will allow the pelvis to be supported over the bony prominences and not on the adipose tissue or other vital soft tissues. The abdominal skin in obese patients may touch the anterior pelvis upright metal. Place a towel between the metal and the skin. Place a medium or large flat upright support with a small L bar just below the tip of the scapulas. Slide the chest posteriorly against the support to again keep the patient close to the surgeon. Flat anterior chest support is placed just inferior to the woman's breasts, taking care not to trap the breast under the support. The flat anterior chest support on a man is placed just inferior to the nipples. Now the final tightening can be performed. Slide the flat posterior pelvis support against the patient by applying firm pressure at the base next to the bar. Tighten the thumb screw with modest force. Check the pelvis for stability. Slide the flat posterior chest support until it is about the same distance on the bar as the posterior pelvis support, then tighten the thumb screw. The flat anterior chest support is slid on the bar toward the chest to provide support and prevent the chest from rolling. Do not over tighten the chest support. The diaphragm remains free to allow easy breathing. Check the pelvis to make sure it is in the position desired by the surgeon. Make adjustments as needed. There may be a difference in the width of the chest to the pelvis. Many women have a relatively wider pelvis resulting in tilting of the pelvis in the coronal plane. Place support, such as folded blankets, under the chest until the spine is parallel to the operating table. This generally will correct 
the coronal malposition of the pelvis in wide-hipped patients. Isolate the lower extremity with a U-drape to protect the hip grip from the skin preparation chemicals, irrigation fluids, and blood. For very long surgeries, release the pressure on the flat posterior pelvis support for 20 minutes, then retighten. After use, discard the covers, clean per hospital procedures, and store the hip grip in the case provided. This is a well-designed quality system, and the well-cared-for hip grip will last many years. Replacement parts are available through SunMedica. We are confident that you will be pleased with the SunMedica hip grip system.